So when you're dealing with a dog like this, the biggest thing you want to do is start with just touch. Don't um, maybe even just switch on some utensils. Just let them run like that and just focus on your dog, you know, get them used to the noises because you can sort of see her eyes is like, oh, what is that? Hey, what is that? And if you're at home, also another good thing is just touch the legs, you know, lift them up, play with the footsies. If your dog falls back when you're playing with the feet, just practice that for another few days, get them used to just the touch before you even start adding your clipper because the biggest mistake people do is they just get their clipper and start going like this crazy and then their dog starts to be forced and once you've done that you've created a big issue all right so i've just put her on the table and like i said if your dog is not used to grooming um you don't want to just buy a pair of clippers and start going for it, you know. Fendi, unfortunately, she's an old girl and she's never been a fan. As much as I've done training with her, she's just never loved the grooming process. She puts up with it, don't get me wrong, but um, she's never loved it. So with her, every time I put her on the table, I have to re in a sense do some training again so i start with touching her footsies and if you notice i've left the clipper on and i've just let it go while i touch her feet and just sort of simulate what i would do once i start with the clipper and i do the same thing up up, up good girl and the same thing with her other foot good girl up 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 and i'm just every time i'm giving her very clear direction as if to say up, 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 sit, stay, whatever she needs to do. Now with Fendi, she's got a massive fear of her back legs. So this is an area that I would make sure I go extra slow and I always touch before I add the clipper. This is another thing I'll do is I'll vibrate the clipper on her and it depends on how bad your dog is as to how often. So you might do this every two days and just get them used to just the feeling that's all just the feeling you know and and also get them to understand to give you the legs like this and make sure it's a very comfortable position touch the bum area because these are all areas we don't touch enough you know um, inside the ears you know just up 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 fan good girl and just go like this very slowly and you can see that she's still unsure you know but we're just going to get her used to it and i do this every time before i start with fendi she's unfortunately in lockdown so we are going to take her very short um and that way i do this as well because i don't because she's not a fan of grooming I want to do this as little as possible for her i don't like to stress her out um she's she's 15 years old so i try to really make sure that i only have to do this once every two months but i bath her in between quite regularly so whenever i'm starting with the clipper i always start the body i never start with the front legs or the back legs because i want to build up the dog's um understanding if you know what i mean and i'll never start up here at the head like down here i want to give her time to sort of figure it out you know so I'm just gonna I'm just doing the back area good girl and I'm rewarding her with a praise good girl Fendi you notice I'm my hand is here stabilizing her so I've got a lot of control good girl good girl and I'm just really slowly if you, and when I'm looking at her body language too, so I'm looking at where she's, her, her, um, her face is looking at, because all this will tell me what she's, she's thinking, you know. Um, good girl, Fendi. And this is an area that she's very sensitive to her, so again, I'm rewarding. Good girl, Fendi. Good girl. And you'll see when I, so I get to the leg part, how she really 
isn't a fan so when I'm doing this part here I don't mind if she sits down because it's more comfortable for her good girl and I'm really lightly holding her really lightly if I hold her very tightly um, she's gonna get more tension so I don't want that I don't want her to feel any tension so I'm just very lightly good girl Candy good girl rewarding good girl now Fendi's trying to sort of ignore it as you can see she's trying not to look at it that's telling me that she's semi stressed oh, good girl see she's not a dog that I would you know do a fancy haircut on because I really want her to not be stressed and if I try to make her do something she really struggles with I'm gonna end up creating a dog that really will really become ungroomable you know so I've always chosen with her to just do the minimal with her because that's what she can handle and um, sometimes you'll you'll even hear she'll she'll do a quick yelp um, not because I've hurt her but because she's just she starts to get stressed so I know I'm getting to a point where I have to you know slow it down good girl and if you see my hand is sort of holding it like that so I've got clear rain of the clipper okay good girl good girl good girl I'm just gonna oh, this is an area you have to be very careful of now Fendi has severe um, skin issues so that's another reason I like to keep her short because keeping her short allows her coat to breathe and then allows me to you know put creams on without getting a build up on the um in the, in the hair follicles and stuff allows me to bath her a lot more frequently that way it dries a lot quicker um, and also you just don't have that build up of infestation of you know bacteria in a sense she's she's 15 don't forget and she's always had a massive skin issue which I've managed to keep at bay just by keeping her short and um, bathing regularly um, she does see a vet for her issue but they're um, very happy with her progress she, she's not needed to be medicated thank God um, just through diet change and regular nourishment of the of the skin you know all right so again I'm just going like this with the clipper making sure that she's very comfortable good girl good girl And I just repeat same thing once you've taught your dog to give you the leg the rest is quite simple but you first have to teach them to give you the leg like that if you just you know expect if you just expect them to give you the leg like that if you've not trained them first train them to just give you the leg then everything else comes easy the brushing everything um, the biggest mistake I see a lot of pet parents do is they haven't taught their dog how to sit still yet and then they'll get the brush and just start, you know, going for it and the poor dog starts to bite the brush, play with the brush because it doesn't understand yet the, the fact of sitting still. Alright, so now I'm just going to turn her around. Good girl, Fendi. Going to cut that face off. And when I'm doing this area here, you've got to be very careful. See how I go very slowly? You don't want to go really quickly because it's very dangerous. I see a lot of people have accidents in these areas with their clipper. And that's because they purely go too quickly. Slow down and that way you'll never have an accident. All right. Now... I like to leave her, leave her beautiful long hair, so I'm going to keep all that, and I'm just going to clip her. Good girl, Fendi. So, and again, start praising her because this is an area she struggles with. Good girl.
cookie. She loves it. After she has her hair cut, it's funny. She hates while I do it, but after she's had it, she absolutely loves it. She goes around to everyone saying, hello, look at me. I'm all pretty. <laughs> all right. So, yeah. up, 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 man. Good girl. Now, when you're doing under here, you've got to be so careful, guys, because they have those little boobies. Um, again, very, very small, small short spurts. Good girl. Now, good girl. All right. So, that's all done. Now, this is the area she hates. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by, again, not holding too tightly. I don't want to be like this holding really firmly because I'll create uh, tension going up the leg. So when I'm doing it, I'm very, even, I'm not even touching her skin because I want her to have as less feeling as possible. So I go really slowly, really, really slowly, and I'm just above her skin, pretty much skimming. Good girl, good girl, good girl. And I can feel that she starts to relax as she starts to understand it, you know? Now, if your dog was pulling at you right now, switch your clipper off and start again with the training. The more you do this every day, not clipper, but just simulate it, like pretend that you're doing it, once you've trained your dog, then the rest is quite simple. Just good girl, Hendy. Good girl. So I've done that front leg. Now I'm going to just do the other one. Up, up, up. So again, very, very lightly, giving her the time to understand it. And if you notice, if you do that correctly, she'll actually start to get better with each leg as you go on. If you do it in a forceful manner, she'll get worse on you. And also, don't be scared to... Um, give your dog guidance. So if your dog is being really cheeky, I use the word, uh-uh, no, come on, good. And I, I'll say, okay, like, you can even see in Fendi's face, uh-uh, hey, baba, uh-uh, what you doing? <laughs> Did you see that? She's like, yeah, mommy, yeah. Because she knows what that means, you know. Um, all right, so I'm just going to do... Now, what I'm using clipper-wise, you don't need to purchase such an expensive clipper. You can get a cheap one online for $100. As long as you buy one with a straight blade, you'll find them a lot more easier to use, especially for your novice groomer. Um, there are these ones which you can buy, which are phenomenal, and they're actually a five-in-one blade. So when you turn this dial, it goes from a short blade to a, uh, it's still a very short blade, so this is the shortest length, but you can also then add extension cones, which then also gives you um, the ability to use it like a like an extension comb clipper. So I'm just gonna do her eyes and clean that up. And I'm just gonna do all this before I start bathing her. Good girl. Yeah. Now with Fendi, I like to do the little tip on her nose, just here, because I find it gives it a nice cleanliness. And also, this little bit on her mouth, it just makes her look younger whenever I take this little fluffy bit off. She ends up looking like she's five years younger. <laughs> Fendi, you're a good girl. Oh, good girl. All right, so I'm just going to... Yeah, good girl. You look good, Fendi. She looks good. Oh, look at that. So you can see just by taking that off how much younger she looks already. Hey, darling. You look so good. So now I've got my five-in-one blade, and this is where I'm going to do the paw pad. And you can see how messy they are. They're just very messy looking, okay? I'm gonna clean them up with the clipper. And I do this purely because it's easy, quick, and it lasts. So this is a good little way to do your dog's feet if they're living in a farm. Um,
I'm just gonna see if I can okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm using my thumb good girl fan and I'm just going on the outer skirt and I'll show you afterwards once I'm done good girl Fendi good girl good girl and I'm rewarding good girl good girl because I want her relaxed good girl and she's looking at me you can see it in her eyes she's like no yeah, okay I'm on my Good girl, Fendi. Good girl. Alright, so I'm just, in a way, I'm cheating. I'm cheating and I'm using my clipper to just do the paw pads. So, can you see how clean they are compared to, say, Fendi, compared to that messy looking one? Alright, good girl. So, I'm just going to also all this sort of stuff just gonna skim and this is a good little way of doing it for the people that aren't very good with grooming you're just you're in a way you, you don't need to buy a pair of scissors and you won't hurt your dog because you're using a clipper scissors are a little bit more dangerous so I'll just move this out of the way good girl so yeah I'm just gonna bring this footsie over here so I'll start with the, now can you see how clean that is? I'm going to start with the other one. Good girl, fan. Now, this is purely a, a cut just for people that are in lockdown and are matted. You've got a dog that's full of knots and you can't get into the groomer. It's easy, safe and it's not really that hard to do. Alright, so. Alright, so again, I'm just going to do this side bit. Clean her up. All this. Good girl. Now, turn her. When you're doing the back of the paw pad, you always want to turn her around and lift your paw like that. Safety and also comfortability. Good girl, fan. Good girl. Oh, done. Good girl, Fendi. You're so good. All right. So now I'm going to do the back leg. This is the bit she absolutely hates. And I'm going to get that really close. So you can see me see what I'm doing, okay? So again, I'm using my thumb and my finger and I'm just touching where that paw pad is. So I'm not going above where the white hair is, just doing in a sense where that black paw pad is, just cleaning up the excess little white bits that are sticking out. Good girl. Now, Fendi might squeal because, again, I told you she's not a fan of her back feet. But when you're, if you're not hurting your dog, always trust your instincts, you know, because I think you've got to remember dogs are very good at bluffing and making you think you've hurt them. If you're not pulling and you've made sure of that and you know for a fact you've not hurt your little one, never fall for it. Because once you start to hesitate and fall for it, each time they end up getting more and more. They learn from it and then they'll start to do it a lot more, you know. So I'm just going to do the other leg. Good girl. I'm going to let her sit down. And we're nearly finished. And this is what I call a COVID cut. And this will get you at least till you see your groomer. You know, it's not going to look the best, but the main thing is, is that your dog is not free, ha happy, safe, healthy, and um, it should last you um, at least a few months, just in case we are still in lockdown till November. 
you will um you'll have no issues when it comes to maintaining your dog. Alright, so I'm just making sure I'm getting all the knots out from under the paw pads. Damn, good girl, Mindy. Good girl, darling. Alright, so she's all ready. Now I'm just going to show you how I did the face portion for Fendi. So what I've done is I've got the clipper and I've just gone straight like that. Now, if you are very, very unsure about doing that, okay, let me just, because the light is really bad. If you are unsure about doing that and your dog does not sit still, see I've just gone straight up, do not do it. If your dog is no good with it, do not do it. Just get a pair of scissors, brush, and then just go like this. Just cut like that, okay? I'll just show you. So you'll just cut around the muzzle. Same sort of principle, but you'll just use your scissors instead, okay? And you'll make a muzzle like this. All right? I would recommend that if you are um, someone that doesn't groom often, get yourself a pair of thinning scissors. That's what a pair of thinning scissors are because they are very, very, very forgiving when it comes to cutting hair. It really is hard to make a mistake with them. All right, so anyway, that's Fendi and she's had a COVID cut. And um, yeah, it just... Hopefully it helped you. I know, but you had your COVID cookie. Fendi had your COVID cut. Yeah, where's my kiss? Hey, are you cold? Oh, baby, are you cold, mama? Are you cold? I know, I know. We go. Come on, we go. Oh, look who's excited. We go. Yeah. Did you have your hair cut? Yeah. Fendi, did you have your hair cut? She, did you have your hair cut? Oh, yeah, you love your hair cut. Yeah, she doesn't enjoy it being done, but once it's done, she loves it. Now, she doesn't look the best, I know, but at least she's not affected by knots, and that's the main thing you want to look for during this COVID period.